Well, welcome back to another video. Today you join us just outside a place called Balahulish and we're doing a pair of Monroes and I haven't actually done any Monroes in quite a while so I'm really excited for today. The weather is unbelievable. A little bit of wind but blue skies everywhere so really excited. So we're gonna get a move on and I'll tell you a bit more about the Monroes we're doing on the way up. So, if you hadn't guessed already, the two Monroes we're doing today form Bena Bither, I think it's pronounced, and it's about 15k uh, for the route, about 1350 metres of ascent, so not too bad. But these are a really famous pair of Monroes. Schoolhouse Ridge is, I think, a really good ridge. So yeah, I'm really excited. So, I think that's where we're heading. That might be the top of the first Monroe, and that ridge there is probably Schoolhouse Ridge. Looks absolutely amazing from here. We started to make our way up the steep ridge, and heavy rain in the days before had left the ground quite boggy. trudged through the bog, and soon the views began to open up behind us. A hazy sky left only the outline of mountains to fill the picture. That's incredible. A bit of scrambling on the way up the ridge made for some fun walking. So, currently making our way up Schoolhouse Ridge. And we're probably at about 750 metres maybe. And you can see how steep it is. It's very steep. But we're not too far from the first top. So yeah, I'll keep pushing. Look at these views. You can see all the way down Schoolhouse Ridge that we are ascending currently. And over to the path of Glencoe. Absolutely amazing. And Big Ben Nevis. Absolutely enormous. Right, so we've made it up to the, the first top. I think it's about 945 metres. And you can see the top of the first Monroe behind us. So we literally just follow this ridge round up to the top. Looks amazing. And it's actually quite calm now as well. So yeah, let's get going. Considering we started from sea level um, and then went up Schoolhouse Ridge, didn't actually feel too bad. But I will say, it says it's a mild scramble, and I feel like it was actually like a little bit more than a mild scramble, but I don't know. It wasn't awful. The sky looks unbelievable out that way. Wow, the clouds. That's utterly amazing. Wow. So, we're just coming down off of the top of the first Monroe, and it was far too windy up there to record anything, so we're just gonna head down to the Bielik to get some food, and then head up to the second Monroe. Also, the wind chill, it must be like minus 10 in that wind. It's absolutely freezing. But the views are incredible. So you can see our route down to the Bielik down there. And that'll be the second Monroe. And look at these views. Pretty amazing. Oh. 
Right. Well, oh, pretty much how the bee look now. So we're just gonna sit here for five, 10 minutes and get some food. And then head up the second one row, which is just behind me there. So cold. We'll get a bit more shelter here though, so it's not too bad. After some well needed rest, we began our ascent of the second Monroe. As we headed up and over the initial climb, the view of our intended target lay ahead, and its unique shape made for some amazing views and steep falls left and right. Bit of a madness that. Very steep. Yes, we have reached the top of the second Monroe on Benabither. I think it's about a thousand and one metres. And what a viewpoint this is. Oh my, I can see out the sea, I can see Mull. I can see 360 degrees back towards Glencoe. This is pretty amazing up here. Wow. So you can see back that way. That's where we've come from. That was the First Monroe, and you can see a couple of people coming up the ridge there. Amazing. And back towards Glencoe. And then all the way over to Ben Nevis, the Memoirs. Amazing. I mean, wow. What on earth is that view? That's amazing. How to see. You can see the Isle of Mull in the far distance. And I don't know if you'll be able to make it out, but I think we can see Ben Moore. On the far left. All the islands, they're just scattered. Absolutely amazing. There's some viewpoint. A bit hazy though, but almost makes it looks, look a bit cooler. I actually cannot get over that sky out that way. See, when you can just see the outline of the hills with the haziness. Incredible. But well, we basically head down this way towards the sea and then we'll cut to the right and probably head down that big slab of rock you can see there. So grateful for these blue skies. Absolutely amazing. Just being able to see so much. You know, you don't often get it in Scotland, so it's really nice. This is definitely my favourite view so far. That is absolutely amazing. Wow. Currently making our way down off the hill and we've just come into a wooded area and it's absolutely beautiful. Because it's autumn, all the colours on the trees are just amazing. And it's a really well maintained path, really easy to follow. So it won't be long before we're back of the car, probably another three or four K, but all on the flat. So we'll do it pretty fast. Right, we've made it onto a sort of gravelly track now. And it's pretty easy walking back to the start point. But yeah, it's been a, been a really good day. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Our weather has been absolutely amazing and the route is really good. Schoolhouse Ridge was good fun. So yeah, if you've enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. All that good stuff. And I'll see you guys next week for another video.